Two women have now come forward accusing Attorney General Curtis Hill of groping them at a party in March. Those two women are no longer anonymous, both publishing op-eds talking about what happened. News 8's Eric Feldman spoke with one of them, joins us with the latest. Eric. Well, Mike, in biting words, State Representative Mara Candelaria Reardon says Attorney General Curtis Hill's conduct was deviant. Senate Democrat spokeswoman Gabby McLemore says the Attorney General cornered her and massaged her back. That night in question, March 15th, and today in response, Attorney General Curtis Hill says he is falsely accused and will not resign. An annual tradition celebrating the end of the legislative session took a dark turn inside AJ's lounge in March, if you ask Representative Mara Candelaria Reardon. The five term lawmaker from Munster penned a letter in the Northwest Indiana Times Friday morning. As we were exchanging pleasantries, Curtis Hill leaned toward me as if he could not hear me and placed his hand on my back and slid his hand down to my buttocks and grabbed it. I said, back off, and walked away as the staffer with me stood shocked. And then, later that night, Hill came up behind me and put his hand on my back again and said, that skin, that back. I recoiled away before he could touch my buttocks again. She says she initially did not want to approach party leaders, instead looking to confront Hill in person. That was until she heard others accuse the attorney general of similar behavior that night. Senate Democrat spokeswoman Gabrielle McLemore sent us her account of what happened that night. Do you know who I am? That's what she says Hill asked her at the bar that night. He pulled a stool up next to me and forced me to move uncomfortably closer to the bar's ledge on my right with people both in front and behind me. I was cornered by Indiana's attorney general, who I'd never previously met, and he began rubbing my back. Attorney General Hill was not home this afternoon when we swung by, but he released a statement saying, I now stand falsely accused of some of the same crimes I spent 28 years prosecuting. He added, I am not resigning. The allegations against me are vicious and false. At no time did I ever grab or touch anyone inappropriately. The lack of fairness and failure to recognize my constitutional rights are a complete travesty. So the attorney general says for there to be a fair investigation, it should not be done by the inspector general because the governor has asked him to resign. Instead, Hill wants the Marion County Prosecutor's Office to lead an independent investigation. So when I reached out to the prosecutor's office, I was told, quote, we will review this new information to determine the appropriate next steps, and quote, all the statements we've received, they're on our website right now, wishtv.com. I'm Eric Feldman, Wish TV News 8. All right, Eric, thank you. We're